I'm so excited I'm going to WWDC and of course the first thing that I do when I find out is I turn my camera on and I make a video about it because that's what I do and I'm so freaking excited that I don't know who else to share it with other than you guys because I don't know anybody else that would be as excited as I am about this and I got an invite to the keynote. So you can imagine my excitement. I wish I was filming when I got the email. I guess I could do like a really poor reenactment. <gasps> With that being said, I had a few thoughts. What Apple Watch band will I wear? Always a favorite. What will my iPhone wear? <sighs> what will I wear? Subtle. It'll be taking place on June 4th and the keynote starts around 10 a.m. They are streaming the keynote and I know that's not really that big of news, but sometimes Apple is known to not stream them, so you never know what to expect with Apple. So they will be live streaming it, but I will also be there inside of the keynote. I'll be live tweeting and I don't know if I'll be live streaming, but I will be posting Instagram stories like a crazy person. So if you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram, make sure you guys do so. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do that as well. Don't forget to hit the bell because then you'll be notified when I post a new video. Well, now that all the shameless self promotion is out of the way. Let's take a look at what people are talking about. Some predictions, some rumors, what will be here at WWDC. So here's the official WWDC invites. Usually sometimes these invites will give away a little bit of a secret or info to something that they're going to be revealing. But looking at this, I'm not sure. They've got a lot of plus and minuses, a lot of buttons, a lot of switches, and a lot of toggles. What? does it mean? So let's take a look and see what some other outlets are predicting. 9to5Mac and Mac Rumors are my two go-to. iOS 12, Mac OS 10.4, Unveil expected. Now because this is a developer conference, obviously they do focus a lot on software. Normally after the conference or the keynote, they start rolling out beta versions of whatever it is that they talked about. So here they are mentioning iOS 12, Mac OS 10.4, tvOS 12, watchOS 5, and possibly improvements to Siri and the HomePod. There are also some things that I read about potential mini HomePods. I think it was rumored that Apple had sold over 600,000 HomePods, which is not an astonishing number. And then I kept getting tweets in response to one of those articles that was written that I bought them all, which is probably not too far from the truth. I'm a huge HomePod fan. I love it. It has pretty much replaced most of my voice interactions with my house. I still have Alexa. I don't typically... So fail to connect with Amazon. Please configure your Amazon. Okay. So basically the voice hierarchy in my house is the HomePod and then A. And actually I have a ton of Alexa powered devices all throughout my house. I have an Echo Spot up here on my desk. I also have a light that is Alexa powered. I have the Echo Show downstairs in my kitchen. I do really love the Echo a lot. But since the release of the HomePod, that's pretty much what I'm using to control my lights, to play my music, and just have conversations with Siri way too often. I'm excited to see what they're doing with tvOS because Apple is planning on having a bunch of new programming coming out, I'm assuming, in 2019. That's what some of the articles that I've read have said. So I'm sure they probably will be mentioning some of those shows that they're working on at WWDC, so I look forward to seeing what they're working on because if I could get a, a show on Apple TV, it would that would be my dream. Ooh, Apple is teasing a smarter Siri with a new voice to show off at WWDC. So here's the thing, everyone was posting these screenshots of Siri saying stuff about her having a new voice, but my Siri does not say that. What can we expect at WWDC this year? Apple's 2018 Worldwide Developers Conference will be held at the McEnery Convention Center in San Jose, California from June 4th through June 8th. Yes. They have screenshots of Siri saying, I don't want to brag, but I'm getting a lot smarter. It must be all the late night studying I've been doing. There's another one that says, la la la, Siri is getting a brand new voice. Oh, this would be interesting. Maybe Siri specifically isn't getting a new voice. Maybe because like Google had John Legend read a voice. Maybe there's going to be a celebrity cameo Siri voice selection. Who would be the cool, oh wow. Wow, this could be interesting. I mean, I used to have the Australian Siri mail, but then I just went back to basic Siri. If there was one celebrity or anybody that Apple could get to be Siri, who would it be? Leave me some comments below. I would love to hear your answers. So here's an update to the Siri new voice responses, and it looks like those were from WWDC 2017, which I kind of thought because there was one response too that mentioned that she was getting a new home. So obviously that was referring to the HomePod. When Google showed off the personal assistant, when I called to to schedule a haircut. I don't know if you guys saw this, but it was a Google I.O. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. At what point 
Is it unethical to not tell someone that you're talking to a robot? I don't know, but I feel like I'm sort of okay with it, but maybe I'm not the majority. All I know is if I have a robot making my appointments and planning my day and scheduling my life, where do I sign up? HomePod mini would be a tough pill for Beats to swallow. I mean, if I had to guess, I just can't really imagine them launching a HomePod mini when the first HomePod didn't do as well as expected. I feel like as soon as Siri gets smarter, as soon as the latest release of AirPlay 2 is out, when you can actually control all of your HomePods, then maybe. I just don't think announcing a smaller version of the HomePod is the right way to go, but if it is a lower price point, then that could make a little bit more sense because obviously the HomePod was a little bit more on the pricey side, especially when you're comparing it to other things on the market. So if they did release a smaller, less expensive HomePod, then would you guys maybe potentially be convinced to get it? You don't have to ask me because you already know my answer. Here on Mac Rumors, which is still one of my favorite places to go for Apple news, here is an iOS wish list that they have created. I think one of the things that they really need to focus on in iOS 12 is make it more stable. I know I've had a lot of issues with iOS 11 from it just crashing or apps not working properly. Granted, I am in the beta program, so a lot of the builds that I have are not actually released to the public. But with that being said, I do hope that 12 will become much more reliable. User interface changes, dark mode, split screen mode for iPhone, more customization, desktop mode, volume redesign. That's interesting. What do you mean by that? A new, less intrusive volume interface. That actually makes sense because the volume screen does take up pretty much the entire screen real estate. <gasps> no more shake to undo. You guys don't want shake to undo. I do accidentally activate it sometimes as well, but I really like shake to undo or do I not? I'm not sure. I think that I like it. Maybe I'm just used to it. App improvements, camera controls in the camera app, aspect ratio, FaceTime, app store wish lists, photo improvements, music app overhaul, messages, search and archive. It really is a struggle trying to search iMessage. Anytime I'm looking for something, trying to search is usually a nightmare. Mouse support on iPad would be very interesting. Revamped Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, do not disturb improvements, biometric locking for specific apps. That's pretty cool. Being able to add sort of that second layer security to specific apps, that's something I'm into. Always on display for iPhone, although I do feel like just doing a simple tap, I can get access to my phone, I can see notifications and things like that. I will say though that on some other Android phones that I've been testing out, I have really enjoyed the always on display, although I do kind of think it's not 100% necessary. I mean, I would like it, but if it kills my battery, then I definitely don't want that. Siri improvements, we definitely need that. Apple is said to be planning to address stability and performance concerns in this update. That's much needed. So Apple is rumored to be working on an updated iPad Pro that features an iPhone 10 style edge to edge display with no home button and support for face ID. Even though I don't really use my iPad that often, that just sounds really beautiful because having this edge to edge display just really has changed the whole look of my phone. It's basically changed the look of phones in general, so that's kind of really the standard now. Apple often introduces refreshed Macs, the iMac, MacBook Pro, and MacBook are all awaiting 2018 refreshes. My computer is loud because I'm capturing my screen at the same time and everything is saving. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. Okay, let's go see everybody. Let's go see our friends. Let's go see our friends. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Hi guys, this is my dog, Maddie. He just wanted to come say hi. You don't have to be scared. You're just on a desk. Here, sit down. Do you hate it? Come here, sit. Here, sit down, honey. Sit down. Hi, welcome to my unboxing desk, Maddie. Guys, this is Maddie. <laughs> Maddie, say hi to everybody. I think, I think he hates it. Do you want to, do you mean to put you down? Here, come here. I got you, bud. Here, there you go, put that leggy. There we go, okay. Let's go, I'll slide you off to the side, it's okay. I got you, bud. Okay. <laughs> He's looking at me. Like, why did you do that? So who knows what Apple actually has planned, but you guys can stay tuned here to my YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, because I will be posting pretty much nonstop from the event. You guys wanna leave me some comments below and let me know what you're expecting, what are you looking forward to? What is the one thing that you most are looking forward to them potentially announcing? I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. I gotta go take my dog for a walk now that I upset him by putting him on my desk. <laughs>